first part of this question, what happens to the qi inside our body when we die? And nowadays, uh, so many of us have a direct experience of uh, being in the presence of someone transitioning in the process of dying. So many people reporting this experience very similar sense of uh, energy, sense of presence, leaving the body. Even continuously, the loved ones or friends who have a karmic connection with this uh, spirit or consciousness or soul, whatever you choose to describe our pure energy. and able to continue the connection, continue the communication in the spiritual dimension. And that is a powerful, even these personal stories, but it's a powerful validation of the teaching that the energy continue. The change is form. The form can change. The formless energy continue. The form is made of the formless energy. The form can dissolve, can change from old form to new forms including from form to formless. So death is really the most powerful expression of transformation from form to formless. So what we can discover through Qigong practice, you're able to validate your own existence is beyond form. You're able to feel, perceive the formless nature, formless existence of yourself, as well the formless nature existence of the universe. So this is not only interaction, but this connection can be directly experienced. So this feeling of a drop of water returning to the ocean, often reserved only spiritually for dying. Now you can experience when you're living fully in this body. That is the spiritual knowledge, spiritual wisdom you're able to discover and slow the practice. It's a slight different approach than faith tradition. Faith tradition believing the greater presence greater connection. It's very powerful. And based on belief, based on faith. But in this case, you can strengthen whatever faith, whatever degree of faith. Slow your practice. Slow your own experience, own discovery. What is the universe? What is source of life? What is the connection, physical, non-physical? What is the nature of consciousness?
So this is not some phenomena uh, mystified or fearful or extremely categorized as nothing exists anymore afterwards or to the degree of um, out of control. Become a spiritual quest. And the second um, practice or benefit of Qigong practice in relationship to this is uh, transforming the fear. Ultimate fear is fear of this. Whatever assumption or whatever belief about fear, about this, causing the fear. So deeply transforming the fear in the system, including the fear of death, its ultimate realization of peace. Not just peace in the process of dying, but also peace in the process of living. Not just peace by expecting absence of war, absence of violence, of conflict, or expecting perfect condition of the world. You can realize the internal peace unconditionally, with a deeper knowing, deeper wisdom, deeper harmony. And that knowing, that harmony within us can generate the collective knowing, generate the collective peace. So in practical level, when we feel peace within us, we can confidently say peace is possible in the world. 